In this video, we are going to explore two more properties, subtraction and division. Let's have a look at the example where we add quantities together. John has three sheep. Alan has five sheep. Suppose they were mixed together by accident. So the total will be three and five which is eight sheep. Now John wants his sheep back. The question is, how can we recover that quantity? Well, the answer is, let's remove Alan's sheep one by one, and whatever is left is John's sheep. So we will start by taking one sheep away and counting how many we have left. So we remove one and we have seven left. Okay, let's do it again. Seven, take away one, which is six. And let's repeat that process until we've separated the quantities into what we were looking for. So we conclude that eight, take away five, is the same as three. The process of removing a number from another number is called subtraction. Now let's try this with other numbers. 12 take away 7 is the same as 5. 10 take away 2 is the same as 8. And the final example is 5 sheep take away 7 sheep is well let's leave that for later so the conclusion is that you can subtract numbers on the condition that you start with a larger number now let's take this scenario we have 15 coins and we want to share them equally among five people now how much is the share of each person one approach is to give each person a coin until you run out of coins. So we will start distributing the coins, giving each person a coin at a time until we run out of coins. And as you can see, we end up with three coins for each person. So let's analyze what we've done so far. We had 15 coins and we gave each person one coin. In other words, we subtracted five and then we subtracted another five and another five. So here's what it looks like. 15 divided into five is 15 take away 5 which leaves us with 10 and then 10 take away 5 which is 5 and then 5 take away 5 which is 0 so we could subtract 5 3 times so the conclusion is 15 divided into 5 is the same as 3. So let's try this with numbers. 20 divided into 10 is the same as 2 because we can take away 10 twice. 20 take away 10 take away another 10 that's twice. So the answer is 2. Now 30 divided into 6 is the same as 5 because we can subtract 6 5 times from 30. So as you can see the answer is just the counter. It tells you how many times you can subtract a number from another number. Another example 11 
divided into 5 is not known at the moment. We will find a way later. So, we will call this process division, which is repeated subtraction. So let's summarize. Subtraction is removing a number from another number. And the first number has to be larger than the second one. Division is removing the same number multiple times or repetitive subtraction or glorified subtraction. And the answer you get out of it is just a counter of how many times you could subtract that number. And finally, it is important to notice that order matters in both subtraction and division. And that brings us to the end of this video. So please like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.